Previously, I showed you how to build a Docker image locally and push that up to the fly registry and then run a fly machine using that Docker image. In the middle of that, I mentioned how we could actually use the remote builders that fly provides so that fly could build that Docker image for you. This is especially useful if you have like an M1 or M2 or an ARM CPU based machine that would create Docker images that are created for ARM machines, right? But uh, Fly, the platform, still wants Intel based machines instead of ARM architectures. So I'm just gonna run Fly M list to show that we don't have any machines running in our app, and then we can create a new machine. So I'm gonna get the last command we used to run a Fly machine, um, like before, with the pre built Docker image, right? We have this image referenced here registry fly.io radom v1. Instead, what I'm going to do here is just replace it with a period. Now, the period tells the flym run command to uh, build the Docker image before pushing it up. In other words, it automates building the Docker image, pushing it up to the fly registry, and running the uh, image, the virtual machine, based off of that image we just created. The period here is a directory, right? So it's saying from the current directory, build a Docker image. If I wanted to, I could add a Docker file flag and just say the name of the Docker file, right? If I uh, happen to have a different name for the Docker file or if it's in a different location uh, relative to the current directory, but I am using a Docker file named Docker file. It's in the current directory. So I just need to replace the image argument of the fly m run command with a period here. And this will spin up the remote builder that I have in my account, right? It's doing that right now, waiting for remote builder. Um, what is it called? Fly Builder Throbbing Pond 7589. That's the random name generated for me on my account. And then it's doing the Docker build, uh, you know, push the code up uh, to the remote builder. And then it's doing, running a Docker build. That's finished and it's very quick for me because I uh, had already done this previously off camera. And then it's pushing it up to the Fly registry for me, giving it a random tag. And then it's running a image based off of that. And then um, that image ran. And because I had that dash dash rm flag, it uh, destroyed the machine when it finished running. But I could do fly logs and see that we just got a machine that was running. It spun up, it uh, did those uh, print commands because it's a very simple Golang app. And then it spun that machine down when it was done. So that's really it. All I wanted to do is show you that it's super easy to uh, use the fly m run command and still make use of the remote builder so you don't have to run Docker on your local machine.